What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Vina Entertainment News. Now, if you missed the video I did on Nene Leaks' return to NBC Universal and hosting the Emmys after party for E News, I have linked that video in the description below. Or you can also visit the RHOA playlist to watch that video. So, Nene did hop back on Instagram Live to talk to her supporters, ask them about, you know, her hosting and if they liked it, talked about the possibility of being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 17, missing Greg, love bombing, being single, dating herself, and the list goes on and on. So let's get into it. <laughs> and as you can see, Nene is currently on a date with herself, getting drinks and all of that. But that little second that you heard, it's really loud in that area. So I'm just going to wait for her to get to her bedroom. And that's a part of the Instagram live I'm going to play because you can barely hear what she's talking about. But I just want that you all to still get to see Nene on date night with herself. <laughs> Somebody said, I know you miss Greg. Like, you guys have no idea. Like, I miss Greg, like, so much. Like, there's this old saying that you never miss a good thing until it's gone. Like, that shit is for real. Like, I didn't even have the time to realize how valuable Greg was to my life or to us until he was gone. Because, like, it's so many times when I want to be like, oh, Greg, oh, Greg, you know. To remind myself that Greg is not here. But no, I miss Greg a lot. Like, so much. It makes no sense. Like, I really miss him. Like, he was great. He did so much to, like, propel my career and to support me. And he was just like, it's hard for anybody to walk in his shoes. Like, he's like, Greg is like that guy. Like, really, I was lucky and blessed by God to have such a great husband for so many years. And I'm not saying that because we had our ups and downs. And we were not perfect, and he was not a perfect husband. But um, he was a good husband. He was a supportive husband. You know, he was motivated. And, um, yeah, he did what he needed to do. So, um so I always get on here and talk about like um, dating yourself. So I went on a date earlier for myself, just for my peace of mind and the love of Nene and wanted to love on my own self. So I went to dinner and then um, after dinner, I went to the bar and had two minute drinks. And then a couple of people sent me a drink. So that was not good. And um, now I'm back in my room. Yep. And, um, period. And I feel, and I love being in here by myself. I don't no problems. <laughs> Baby, when I tell you, <laughs> when I tell you it's problems, <laughs> believe me, honey. Don't let the love bombing stage fool you. Because <laughs> that love bombing, honey, <laughs> it is not real. <laughs> Baby, that love by mistake it feels good and it sounds good, but it is not real, honey. And your moment is coming. Okay. Mm -mm. I live for y'all to put me on season 17. <laughs> I live for y'all to just automatically give me a position, honey. Yes. <laughs> it's just that hanging that girl is going to be okay. What? It's going to be okay. <laughs> I feel like everything is going to be okay. Jamaica in the house. Hi, Jamaica. They don't want the smoke with Nene. They sure don't. I don't want no smoke with them either. Like, I don't, want, I don't even want to go there with nobody. I really, I just want peace, love, and happiness. And my whole life is on do not disturb right now. Do not motherfucking disturb me, honey, if you're not trying to bring some peace, love, and joy to my life. Bye. 
see you and we want to be you. Mm-hmm. What y'all think about the show? Because I was asking y'all that earlier. Um, that person said, do you speak to Tamar? Tamar is my next door neighbor. Do I speak to her? I see her <laughs> all the time. <laughs> of course I speak to her. <laughs> Uh, thank you. <laughs> Do you speak to Tamar? Like, yeah, I see Tamar right out, just sitting on our patios. Um, thanks. Thank you. I can't read this stuff so fast. My whole life is on Do Not Disturb. Yeah. Thank you so much. So last night, the show was great. Um, you know, I think there's a few things that can be like pop, 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 pop it up. But um, overall, it was a good show. I'm a huge Rita Ora fan, and I could literally couldn't believe that she was sitting there because I really like her. I think she's fabulous and beautiful, and I think her husband is hot and sexy, and I think her husband is hot and sexy, and I think her husband is hot and sexy. And then also, who else do we have? Um, there's a new girl named Ange- An- Angela, Angela Oakley. Um, now, I don't know Angela, but I hear her husband is everything I hear her husband is everything I hear her husband is everything that's so easy it is to understand when big sis and little sis talk about other people's husbands and how they're sexy and they're everything and it's crickets because they feel like we understand what they meant even though both of these women did end up would marry men. One of them ended up getting married to the man, okay? And now it's going through a divorce. But it's crickets. Imagine Kenya Moore interviewing a couple and then going on Instagram Live and saying, oh yeah, I interviewed this person. I think her husband is sexy and, and starts describing him. Even though they understand and know what she mean the same way how they understand and know what Nene meant. It would have been trending right now. It would have been everywhere. It would have been, I can't believe Kenya Moore said that. Do you see how they make excuses and adjustment for other women who actually ended up with married men but crucified Kenya Moore who did not date or end up with a married man? A married man lied on her. The hypocrisy, the jealousy, and the hate that people have for Kenya Moore. That Nini and Portia can say whatever and it's crickets. But if Kenya Moore had said that, that clip would have been played everywhere. Even though she meant no harm. We clearly know Nini means no harm. Her giving Rita or her husband a compliment doesn't mean she's going to go over there and try something with him. She's just giving him a compliment, which is the same way how when Kenya Moore speak, it should be taken. But her words carry so much weight that when she speaks, people change everything she says instantly and make her the villain. Whereas these other women are the actual villain because they actually ended up with married men. And one of them ended up marrying one of those men who was with a woman when she met him. So, yeah, I just had to point that out. But let's keep listening to Nini. I think together they make a powerful, creative, smart couple, rich couple. (laughs) And so I like her. And uh, so I enjoy talking to her. Um, I think um, the show was great. And I think it can get even better over time. You know, add a few different elements to it, and it could be really fantastic. I don't want to give out my creative ideas unless I'm going to get creative for it. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, hello from Cali. Okay, I need to bring you. Oh, Fashion Police. So, yeah, I love Fashion Police. And I feel like um, we could do a show talking about fashion, but I don't think it could be called Fashion Police because I think that moment is over. But we can call it something else. Okay, and I have a lot of ideas about what we can call it. Um, yeah. Yeah, Fashion I see everybody saying Fashion Police bring it back. But yeah, um, we'll have to be called something else. Not Fashion Police. 
Just saying. Mm, love you so much. So many of us love you. Never forget that. Welcome back to the scene. Will you be here there next Thursday? Have you talked to Marlo? Yes, because you are sooner. Uh, are you still friends with Jennifer? I'm cool with Jennifer. I haven't seen her in a long time, but I'm cool with her. I know she recently got married, so congratulations. Um... Uh, would you do a comedy show again? Of course I would do a comedy show again. I loved it. It was like so fun. I met you one time in Dallas years ago. And honey, that probably was the only time I was there. Because I haven't been to Dallas since. Ooh. That was so many years ago. It's crazy. Yeah, like, hello from Cali. So anyway, you guys, I want to get into my night clothes. And I don't know if you guys want to be here for me getting into my night clothes. <sighs> I said I was going to go downstairs again. I don't know if I'm going back down there again or not. Darling. Forget my love. Last place I went, the lighting was real bad, and then, and then I went to the um, the restaurant, and it was good. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you where I post it, and I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.